today I'm going to talk about what I call saddle stride exercise. It's focusing on mobility in the left arm to make string crossings in the left hand. We tend to focus only on where the fingers are hitting the strings and we forget that they're attached to the body back here at our shoulder. So we always want to be aware of what's happening in our chest, our shoulder, and our back as we're moving around the instrument. The reason I call it saddle stride exercise is kind of like a westerns, you know, days when you see somebody sitting in a saddle for a long time, they weren't able to walk like the rest of us normally do. So what we want to do is focus on keeping the arm and the wrist in line together and to move a finger from one string to the other rather than walking like we might normally do. We want to actually lower and raise the entire arm starting back at the shoulder. So well, for example, if I start on the C string first finger or to get my first finger to the G string, I'm going to pivot off of the fourth finger bring the elbow down to place the first finger on the G string. Now, to correct that angle, I need to bring the elbow up, or the arm up, so that my fourth finger comes to the G string. Now I'm pivoting off that fourth finger, bringing the arm down, brings the first finger to the D string. Bring the arm up, pivoting on the first finger, brings the fourth finger to the D string. Arm down, pivoting on fourth finger, first finger to the A string, pivoting on the first finger, arm up, fourth finger to the A string. So in full action that works this way. Pivot down, pivot up, pivot down, pivot up, pivot down, pivot up. I know this is a lot more movement than we would normally use in string crossings, but again, what we're trying to do is work on mobility all the way back to our base and to learn how to get those muscles to work together to do what we want them to do. Coming down from this same exercise, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, we're going to come down 4, 1, pivot on the first finger, brings the fourth finger to the D string. Pivot on the fourth finger, arm up, brings the first finger over. Pivot on the first finger, arm down, brings the fourth finger over. Pivot on the fourth finger, arm up, first finger. Pivot on the first finger, brings the fourth finger over. Pivot on the fourth finger, first finger. So coming down from the A string. So that's half of the exercise. The other half, same finger patterns, but now we're going to start fourth finger on the C string and then come to first finger. So now I need to bring my fourth finger to the G string. I'm going to bring the arm up, which is going to pivot me on my first finger. Pivot on the fourth finger, bring the arm down, brings the first finger over. Pivot on the first finger, arm up. Pivot on the fourth finger, arm down. Pivot on the first finger, arm up. Pivot on the fourth finger, arm down. Going all the way through that. Opposite on the A string. Starting on the first finger, one four. Pivot on the fourth finger, bringing the arm up. Pivot on the first finger, bringing the arm down. Up. Down. Up. Down. In action. That's the other half of the exercise. 
Now for the exercise in both directions. Starting on the C string, 1-4-1-4. One, four, one, four. The other direction, starting on C string, 4 1. Opposite, starting on the A string, 1 4. As a reminder, sometimes we need to cross the strings by moving individual fingers. One, two, three, four. And sometimes we need to cross the strings using mobility within our entire arm.